Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look crusty AF. I always stay looking crusty in my videos now, but it's like I don't have to wear makeup. Like, why am I gonna put makeup on unless I'm going somewhere? But I have to go to work in two hours, but I'm not wearing makeup to work because we have to wear, like, I'm wearing my N95 mask. So I just put like mascara on and a little bit of eyebrow stuff, but that's it. And I need to take a shower, so I wanted to start this video already. I'm going to be making my famous buffalo chicken. It's super easy, so like I really don't need to make a whole video about it, but um, I wanted to because it's easy to make. So I want to show you this recipe, especially if you love buffalo wings and like buffalo stuff. Like I don't really care for buffalo wings. Like usually when I get wings, it's either barbecue or like at Wingstop, I get barbecue, lemon pepper, or garlic. I never get buffalo. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to preheat the oven to, let's see. Let me show you so you believe me. I'm preheating, preheating. I'm going to preheat the oven to about 400. No, we'll do 420. So you really don't need to preheat or cook your meat in the oven, but since I'm short of time, I don't got time to watch it on the stove. So first things first, because you're going to end up cooking it on the stove because that's how you get the sauce to like stick to the chicken. Like I've tried to cook it in the oven with the buffalo sauce, but it just doesn't taste the same. Like, I don't know. So I'm going to preheat the oven to 420 let that preheat and we're, we're going to be cooking so it's like oh you need, you need to make it everything is clean so i cleaned under my oven like let me show you this guys did you know let me show you because i learned from a youtube video so i need to clean the top of these but i know you can take these off somehow but i'm still learning but look regular stove did you know that this lifts up so I cleaned under this today it wasn't that bad but it's just because like I didn't know that you could lift this up so I would try to clean but I could never reach it but now it's nice and clean okay so I just need to clean in here clean my stove but I'll do that tomorrow morning so that um, every I tomorrow I don't go to work till 6 so I'll have all day to work to clean but yeah um, Preheat the oven. You're gonna get your little tray. Boneless chicken, cause my fiance is super picky and he doesn't like to eat it with the bone. Cause it's like less messy, so I get what he's saying. So I'm just gonna lay my chicken out. It's already been defrosted. This meat is like crazy. I forgot where I got it from. But it's not like, it's chicken thigh, so it's like, not perfect like chicken breast you know what i mean if you know what i mean then comment down below but like chicken breast is just like one solid piece but like chicken thighs feel like all messy and ugh. for a chicken you don't want to go too crazy with the spices because i feel like the buffalo sauce itself is pretty salty so you don't want to add too much spices or salt so i'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil just a tad because because I said so. Some minced onion. I feel like minced onion just makes everything better. And then some garlic powder, of course. I'm trying to hurry because I need to take a shower. And then, of course, my favorite. This is Uncle Chris's Gourmet Steak Seasoning. This you get at HEB. Um, I don't know what... Okay, so it has... Spices, salt, garlic, onion, bell, pop, bell pepper. That's a whole bunch of stuff, but you can use whatever seasoning you like, but I love this one. So I just put some on there. A little bit of cayenne pepper to add a little bit of heat to your chicken. Just a tad because this shit is hot. Well, for me it's hot. <laughs> and some black pepper but I don't have time for it to finish preheating. Um, so we'll do 30 minutes and we'll come back and check on it. I'm gonna go take a shower, finish cleaning the kitchen. I need to wash the dishes per usual. And yeah. Oh 
my god i need to sneeze i need to wash my hair oh my god guys i look so crusty i always look so crusty but i don't always look like this i promise but yeah so let me go clean take a shower and we'll come back in 30 minutes okay guys our chicken came out of the oven look how good that looks now we're gonna heat up our pan to about four and throw in some butter well we'll let our pan heat up then we're gonna put butter and then crispy up this chicken and make our sauce i only add well honestly i don't measure this stuff so i'm gonna just gonna start with that much jesus and we're gonna add our chicken in this we use to when we're frying stuff so it's like all ruined now so put in oh our chicken So I'm adding another tablespoon or whatever this much of butter. Get off the spoon. So we can coat like a liquid. I'm not gonna add any more seasoning because we have seasoning on the chicken. We just want the butter to melt. I'm just gonna let this cook in the butter and let it crisp up some more because it's a little crispy but I, I want it like super crispy and then we'll add our buffalo sauce to it and then we're literally done that's that's how easy this chicken is like it's all you do is season your meat cook it let it get crispy um, and then we add our buffalo sauce and let that get sticky to the meat Super easy recipe. So I added some of the chicken, I guess fat that had melted off into the pan. It's just so that it can be a little bit more juicier. And now we're now we're letting it crisp up. We're just waiting for our chicken to cook. That was cold. I'm drinking. I'm trying to see if anybody's outside when they're not supposed to be. I'm drinking some ice cold water. Well, there's no ice, but it's cold water. I do not know how people drink room temperature temperature drinks. Like my fia my fiance, <laughs> my fiance, he would prefer like a room temperature Coke over a nice cold Coke sometimes. And I know Yoli is like that too. And I'm like Dutch wheeled. Like I prefer like to drink it super cold with ice like i haven't drank a warm coffee in a little bit because i rather just have it ice so i'm drinking some cold water waiting for our chicken to crisp up it's pretty hot outside i'm a little bit sweaty so there's like no point of me taking a shower yet rice is done now for the chicken it's pretty crispy now if you can tell i don't know if you can tell on camera let me move this it's pretty crispy now easiest part you just add your buffalo wing sauce this is the best one that I've found so far and well that's the only one I have used so we're gonna add it to our pan and we're just gonna pour our sauce on there and you just want to mix your meat around in it Oops, sorry guys, it's foggy. The chicken cook into the sauce until like your sauce is almost evaporated, evaporated from the pan. So you don't want it all saucy like this. You want it to like be sticky, sticky to the so to the chicken, I guess. So let this cook down for a while, probably like five, almost ten minutes or less. I don't know, honestly guys, I don't time all of this which I should but we're just gonna let this sorry for being so dirty but yeah we're just gonna let this cook down for I don't know probably 
like five minutes. I don't think it'll take longer than five minutes, but you don't want it all saucy. That's the point. You want it to be like stuck to the chicken and not to the pan. So I'm going to let that cook down and then we'll see if we need to add more sauce. Make sure you keep moving your chicken around so that it doesn't burn to the pan. See how most of the sauce is cooked away now? You still want to, so it's been less than five minutes. So probably like two to three minutes, no, probably like three to five minutes. So it's still pretty saucy. So you want to keep moving your chicken around so that it doesn't burn. It's getting more crispy too, so that's a good thing. So you want to keep flipping it. Ooh, look at how crispy that is. You want to flip this. Guys, look how good this looks. I mean, it might not look that good to you, but it is so bomb. Okay, my food is done as you can tell. It smells so good. My rice came out bomb. So yeah, I'm gonna eat. I hope you enjoyed this short cooking video. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be short, but like cooking video. But this buffalo chicken is so easy to make. So you can see. So if you do try it, let me know in the comments or show me on Snapchat. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Bye. Be a nice human. Don't forget that.